Total Groomer. My name is Jackie Host, and today I'm bringing you another shaving video. My choice of soap today is going to be from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements or Phoenix Shaving, and this is Alfin. This is a, uh, a unique scent. Something that I've noticed with uh, Doug, when he doesn't do dupes, his scents are unique to the point where you don't really find anything similar. Uh, I've I've read quite a few of his scent descriptions, kind of like what comes up with the scents, and that guy is very creative. Like he, for all of his faults, he is a very creative, attentive guy when it comes to the way he does his stuff. I I admire that so much because what in, what you end up getting is you end up getting scents like Oubliette, Alfin. There's there's so many scents that are very unique. This, I've never smelled anything like it. It's just so unique. Uh, it's masculine. It's quite dark, but at the same time, it's quite sweet. I can see that there being a bit of citrus in here. It's, it's very unique, very unique. Um, I'll put the scent notes down in the description below. I I try not to remember the scent notes, really, because I I prefer to give you like a more organic view of the scent. However, that is very, very nice. Um, CK6 comes comes to you in five ounce tubs. It's about five dollars an ounce, roughly. Uh, that would make that would make Doug cry. Doug, that would make uh, CDB cry. Uh, I don't mind paying five dollars an ounce. The way I see it is, this is a hard soap. The price, the, the cost per shave with this soap is so little that I just don't care. Each to their own, right? Okay, um, my razor of choice, I'm gonna be going with a straight razor again. And this is the Wade & Butcher. This is the 7 8 Wade & Butcher full hollow razor with that nice uh, slight smile there. My brush, I'm gonna be using the Declaration B8. Uh, this is in a Grizzly Bay crushed resin handle. I think he calls it the Nebula. Let's get a load on here and we'll get to shaving. So something I've noticed with PAA, a shorter load is something you need to do. If you don't, this stuff just grows and grows. I'm gonna have a cold water shape here today because it's quite warm outside. So let's actually fill this in a bit. It's Saturday today, so I'm gonna be, I'm recording this on Saturday and uploading on Monday. So you guys will see that. It's uh it's a very unique scent. Um, I think I heard Doug came up with this scent after having a dream. Uh, he had a dream about something, made him think of this. He's a pretty wacky character, but honestly, like, I, I think that's done done him very well for his business, frankly, his, uh, his approach to stuff. So let's uh, wet the wet face and we'll get to shaving. Oh, the, uh, I'll tell you something, the cold water is very refreshing. It's the morning and it's already 70 something degrees out there. I can't, can't wait to move to Portland. <laughs> I, I'm so, I, I, like I'm English. This, this weather was not made for me, frankly. So bear that in mind. So we're gonna use a pre-shave here. Don't always, but I, I like to sometimes. I'll show you what pre-shave I use, and then uh, we'll get into lathering, but let me uh, apply it first. I, I'm not sure what pre-shaves do. Um, from my perspective, I take it what they do from face value, right? I don't know if they boost the lather. I don't know if they do this. I don't know if they do that. What I know they do is they uh, they add quite a lot of slickness on the face initially. Because that's something I can feel and quantify, right? I don't know if they boost lather. I don't know if they do this or that. I just know they they add slickness. This is um, 
the grooming department pre-shave. I like it a lot. So what I do here, it's been applied to my face. I have wet hands, but not dripping wet. And now, I wet the pre-shave on my face. A lot of people I've seen apply pre-shave and they, uh, what they do is they apply it and they don't, they don't uh, like lather it up. They kind of leave it there. What ends up, what might end up happening to you is uh, your razor starts to clog because you pretty much, you're pretty much just getting soap in the razor at that point. So bear that in mind. Let's dry the hands here. And then we'll uh, get the lathering up. Oh, this is a lovely scent. Get the proto lather. So, so something I would massively encourage you to do. Uh, if you're interested in any scents from PAA, they do this thing which is so unique. And frankly, not enough people do it. They offer... 99 cent of aftershave samples. What that basically allows you to do is that basically allows you to try a scent for a dollar, you know? Pick up three, four at a time, make sure you that shipping is worthwhile and you're, it's fantastic. Like it's, it's a really good way to try scent. And frankly, the aftershave is probably a better depiction of the scent than the soap, so. It's a, it's a good idea, I, I commend, uh, commend him for that idea, I, I really like it. So let's uh, apply the, this lather here and uh, get to shaving. For me, CK6 is one of the better vegan formulas. Um, it performs pretty similar to like good tallow soaps. And for me, it's one of those soaps that just work. It's not finicky. Um, it just lathers. You take it quite a lot of water. We really dip the tips there. coming together already. So how are you guys? For me, it's Saturday. Um, there's very little to do because we're still in in lockdown. Um, it's, I think the idea of coming out of lockdown at the end of this month with the death tolls, with the death count still being as it is, is a bit mental, quite honestly. Um, I, I have a feeling that they will end up extending it even further to the end of May or something like that. I think it's probably necessary. This is for me a very easy base to work with. Has good density. No, if you're looking, if you're curious about any of the scents, I'm not trying to sell you on PAA. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to save you money, <laughs> frankly. If, if you see any of his scents and you're like, oh, this sounds interesting. He does that aftershave sample thing, which I think is, like I said, I think it's fantastic. I don't think enough people do that. I wonder what the logistics are of that. Like, I don't quite know, but I, I think it's just a generally a good idea. Because it, it gives people a cheap reference or an affordable reference that they don't need to splurge like 15 to 25 bucks on a soap, right? Okay, I think we're good here. It's very quick to lather CK6. Um, I think that was one of his criteria when it came to developing base, it just has to be easy to use. And it is. Um, if you 
Actually, another way to save money on top of CK6 is he does lots in the generic like Crown King formula, which is good in its own right, frankly. So if you wanted to try a scent and didn't want to spend the money for um, CK6, you don't have to. There's plenty of options. Awesome. Drain the sink here, get the uh, soap out of my nose. That's awesome. It's very quick. No fuss, no muss. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to be doing another straight razor shave. Um, the straight razor is going to be, as I showed you at the start of the video, my 7 8 weight and budget. Um, I like this razor a lot. I got it from Mike Slater, who lives very locally to me. Here's our razor. Let's get to shave. Good residual slickness. <clears throat> the novelty of using a uh, a razor dated back to the 1800s hasn't worn off on me. <laughs> I find it really cool. Base is very good. Very nice, kind of like texture to the leather as well. So I'll switch hands here. I need to pull that first pass, I think. Forgive me, guys. There's not going to be loads of talking in these straight razor videos, mainly because I need to concentrate a bit more. The chattier videos are the uh, <laughs> are the double-edged razor videos. This, this for me is just relaxing and getting a shave in. But I hope you enjoy them nonetheless. I mean. This is a lovely scent. Very, it's very masculine. Cool, okay. Let's go 
across ground here. I always struggle to get this part of my jaw. Cool. Now first, pretty easy. Let's go over the moustache again. May have nicked myself there, I don't know. Switch hands here. Any any time I get cuts or anything, not for me, there's nothing wrong with the gear. It's my technique. I'm still obviously working on it. I'm getting there in some places, but I still need to improve. This is a very nice uh, closest shave I've ever had and frankly as I keep doing this it's gonna get better but let's do a bit of a kind of like last cleanup pass pretty much and then uh we'll finish up probably in terms of time yeah okay So what I do here is I go straight down my hair pattern. It's quite unique. Again on the left side, straight down. Yeah, that'll do for me. Like I've said, told you guys before, 
with shaving, I only really aim for like par anyway. I don't aim for really smooth or anything. I just don't find the need. I'm not, I don't have anyone running a credit card with my face or anything. But yeah, I'm gonna, let me kind of put this on my face and then uh, we'll get to the post shave. I'll be right back. Hey guys, uh, post shave time. How do we do? For the most part, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, not quite as close as I get with the D, but I don't think it will be for a, a good while. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't complain, quite honestly. It's a decent, de good shave. A little bit of redness, but that'll go away in a couple of hours, I think. Cool, okay, so um, our post today, we are gonna use the Alcohol Free Splash One by Zingari Man, which just looks like this in a small vial. Sent this to me as a tester. Um, I've used two, two is my favorite thus far, but we're gonna use one anyway. This is unscented. Very nice, okay. Let's do a recap of everything we use and I'll let you guys go. So my soap of choice today was Alfin by PAA. I really like this scent, it's very unique. Uh, I've never smelled anything like it. Take it, take that for what it is. <laughs> uh, my razor of choice was the 7 8 Wade and Butcher uh, Full Hollow Razor. I, I really like this razor. Uh, the edge is, isn't as smooth as something like one of my Max Spreckers, I don't think, but it still, it still gets the job done for me. Uh, my brush was the uh, Nebula Grizzly Bay with a Declaration B8 knot. Oh, and my pre-shave. This is the pre-shave I used. This is um, the Moisturizing Pre-Shave by Grooming Department. It's very good. And then my splash to finish everything off. Alcohol Free Splash 1, good product. Looking forward to her bringing out the actual finished article of the Alcohol Free Splash, but yeah. Um, plug, so check out the latest episode of the Razorburn podcast. The day this is uploaded, we should have uploaded the episode with Kerry Burrows of Phoenix and Bow. We talk about um, their approach to label design and the importance of label design within wet shaving and his transition to packaging and whether, well, his transition to a different sort of packaging and uh, what he thinks the impact of that's gonna be. Uh, yeah, really insightful guy. We also talk about the differences between the US and the British wet shaving market. Kerry is a very insightful dude, a very matter of fact guy, which is quite English to be quite honest with you. <laughs> um, it's, it's not often that English people are just gonna speak for the sake of speaking. It's not particularly our nature, but no, he, he did a very good job and I recommend you watch it. Link is in the description below for the podcast. Um, the person that won the chiseled face soap is Edgar Figueroa. I have tried to contact you, so look at your notifications and you should see a comment from me. But yeah, my name is Jack, your host in the Virtual Grim Room. Wherever you are in the world, have a wonderful day and goodbye for now.